Greetings from the void. My name is Alpha. Um, hold on, wait. I always forget to do this. There we go. Now I can actually hear myself myself think. Oh. Hey guys, don't forget to come by my shop. I'll make you an axe. Oh shit, I should get that axe. Hmm. Alright, well. <gasps> I knew that looked out of place. Okay, so I can pick up berry bushes. Where have I seen berry bushes? Actually, you know, hold on, wait, how do I access my inventory? Scylla berries. Um. Scylla apples, scylla berries. I'm starting to see a connection. <clears throat> ah, see, there's a berry bush under there. Okay. <clears throat> I understand now, I understand now. Okay. Mm, I should probably go collect those, but, uh. I just realized, uh, off-camera while editing my second video that I'm actually an idiot. And, well, not a big surprise to all of you guys, but, um, not there, there, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't make the same mistake. Yeah. I saw the solution after editing the first episode, and then, uh, and then I went back in the second episode to solve the puzzle again. I completely forgot how I was supposed to do it. I went back to edit the second episode, and then I saw it again, and I was like, how am I missing this? I'm stupid. But yes, I finally got that chest. Jesus Christ. <laughs> the most elusive chest in the game. Okay, god damn it. That was going to bother me unless I freaking did that. Alright, I have appeased myself. Consider the alpha appeased. Okay, is there a bush down here? Of course not. Alright, I want to go see Jackie! So he can give me an axe, but I need to uh, look around for Scylla Bears. The envoy are probably attacking the forest down there. So we can't go there. Who is taking my berries? Uh, oh shit, oh shit. <laughs> um, he's angry. <laughs> Alright. We have, we have the syllabaries. Just got to, uh, carefully go around these guys. Okay. Is there a syllabary bush up here? No, there isn't. Okay, so there's just two to three bushes. Okay. You're a cute little guy. Have you been to the other side of the forest? There are hot springs there, and a tea shop run by fish people. Dendron? Ooh! Wow, Jackie, you got a nice place. Got like a massive anvil, as I've kind of expected from a blacksmith. Blacksmiths always tend to have that giant iconic anvil. Where are the knives? So no! <laughs> Tool menu. Axe. Camphor sticks, 5. Nightstone, 3. Pickaxe, 5. Camphor sticks. Lumen rock and nightstone. Oh my god, I can make a pickaxe for those rocks. Oh, this is how I progress. I see. Room's been blocked off. Perhaps you'd get through if you had the right tools. I see. Okay. Oh, hey guys! Thank you for helping me get my tools back! My shop isn't fully functional yet, but if you bring me the right materials, I can bring you an axe. I, I can... Blah, my English. I can make you an axe of your own. I'll need five camphor sticks and three pieces of nightstone. I'm sure you can find those in the area just southeast of the village. South... East. But that's blocked by a sign. Okay, I need camp for sticks and nightstone. How much how much do I have right now? I have just reeds and syllabaries, so I have none. <laughs> I am I am on a roll. <laughs> um crap. Uh Don't mind me, buddy. I didn't take your berries. You two back again. You don't have to worry about us anymore. And why is that? 
we just went through Morazor's cave. We even got the blacksmith's tools back for him after they were stolen by angry spirits. Oh, really? Well, why didn't you just say so? I guess you two can handle yourselves after all. You're free to pass, but be careful. I'm Jiminy Cricket. Alright, thank you. Can I talk to you again? Good luck in there. And always follow your conscience. Thanks, Jiminy. I'm assuming that's Nightstone. Ah, okay. The sticks on the ground, okay. The, that's bamboo. Okay, sticks on the ground is camp for sticks. Alright. Interesting. <gasps> Scylla berries. Okay, so there is some tool gathering here. Okay. We're, 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 we're gathering materials. You will need to, something to carry this in before you can catch it. Wait, what? Oh, you're talking about the firefly thingies. The wisps. Okay. I thought I was talking about the plant on the ground. Hey, onion. Mild onion. Have you ever heard the stereotypes that onions smell bad? Well, let me tell you, it's not true. Sure, I might have a few cousins who only shower once a month, and their trash cans are overflowing with fast food wrappers. But they're the exception. For the most part... <coughs> God. Can I please speak, okay? For the most part, we smell rather nice. Okay. God, I'm screwing up today, I'm sorry. Jesus. There we go, more camp for six, and nightstone. Hey there, little burb. Oh, it's Mini Mori. Hi, I'm a Mini Mori. There are many of us, and we all have a number attached to our name. Do you know what the numbers stand for? It's the order in which we came into this world. Ah, okay. Smug Onion, what do you want? Uh, camphor sticks, actually. And syllabaries. And nightstone. And all your minerals. Oh, of course that's blocked. Okay, well, I can't mine that without a pickaxe. I'm assuming the bamboo can be taken down with an axe. Possibly. I mean, sounds like it could. Don't see any trees that need to be shopping. There are two loot chests right there. Not one. Two. Oh, that's worth it. Alright, let me grab some loot. Alright. Ooh, camper six. Got a garden going on here. 20G! Wow, I'm rich. The labels use the area south here for the Star Night Festival. They get crazy. But you know what's really crazy? Being a slave to your possessions. You know, you know what I'm saying? It's overwhelming. That's why I decided to get rid of all my stuff, except for my garden. I love my garden. It brings me joy. So if you're thinking, it feels bad taking what's in that guy's box, you stand right there. Don't feel bad. Oh, I didn't pay a second thought. I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> I, even, I don't even need it anymore. You know? That's tough at first, letting go of your possessions, but once you do, it's sweet, sweet freedom. Empty. FREEDOM! Okay. That's an interesting little cave, bud. Sorry, the festival grounds are closed until we get everything set up. Understood, fellow Liebel. Alright. So, I'm assuming we have enough materials. Let me, let me find out. Um, we have 30 syllabaries, Jesus. Yeah, we have enough. Yeah, we have enough. We have a little extra, too. Interesting. Uh, really would love that pickaxe, though. But I'm assuming if I get the freaking bamboo first, I have more access to areas in the map. I mean, such as here. Oh, which means there's going to be some backtracking. Oh, boy. <laughs> well... Can't be helped. Alright. 
Out of my way. There we go. Back to the evil village. Everything is so peaceful here. Alright. Hey, Jackie. Uh, wait, you're not Jackie. <laughs> you're not Jackie. There we go. Ah, I see you found my, the materials for your axe. One moment, please. I hope you enjoy your new axe. Receive an axe. It works great on bamboo and other types of wood. In fact, why don't you go test it out on that door up there? Chop it down! Feel free to take what you can find inside. Why do you have a boarded up door in your hut? Why not? This guy's weird. Kid, that's a dangerous weapon you got there. I found Cat's Eye Marble. <gasps> I can give this to Sue, and she'll give me a story about it. Oh my god, thank you. I'm, go I'm going to assume Cat World. Alright. Do I actually pick up the bamboo? Let me see. I actually do. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, this is going to be a lot of backtracking. Alright, give, give me my 10G. Okay. Well... <sighs> It's a lebel. It's a lebel. Okay. Let's go down here to the new area first, and then we'll work our way up. Alright? We may need to go back to Morzor's cave, because there was some bamboo there. Chop, chop, chop! Hey there, little onion. Okay. I wonder what I'm going to need bamboo for. Probably for another tool handle, I guess. I mean, better than camphor sticks. 25G! You know, I better have some... I, this shop in the frickin', uh... The frickin' mushroom place. Better be, uh... Better be some good stuff there, or else I will slaughter them all. <laughs> You don't want to anger the Alpha now, would you? Yeah, I didn't think so. Anyway, let's go. It's, it's totally cabbage. Okay, more bamboo down there, I see. And some bamboo right there. There's a new area we could access. So, <sighs> plot-wise, oh wait, let me look at my journal. Find out how to help Winston. Yeah. Um... Either we go to the hospital to talk to Winston, or we just talk to the version of Winston in the fantasy world. Yeah, I don't know where the version of Winston in the Liebel Village is. So... I'm assuming find a... find... I have to find his unconscious wife. Somewhere around here. Oh, that leap right there is sleeping. How cute. Okay. Well, before we go talk to Winston, we need to gather all our materials first. So, let me just, uh, you know, before we go to the new area, which, uh, before I do, grab that. Alright, we'll leave that there uh, as a marking. Hey, we haven't been there yet. Right, out of my way, cave bud. There's stuff I need to see. Alright, so first of all, right here. We need all the bamboo. I have a feeling there's going to be an important use for it, and that's why I'm collecting it ahead of time. Envoy still attacking? Okay, was there any bamboo right here? Let's not go play the music again? Okay, that's fine. Okay, wow, Mom, you seem to be putting up with a lot of my shit <laughs> right now, and all this exploring. I kind of feel bad for you. Ah, uh, yes! Bamboo. Sorry, Mom. I, 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 you put a little too much faith in me with this axe. I'm, like, come on. Alright, so there's two areas with Envoy, and then... 
the stairs to the bards. Let me check these areas first. Alright, nothing was over there. Let's just go up here. <gasps> Loot! You see, this is why this is why I backtrack. Look at all this money we're finding. Golem child doll. What? What am I gonna do with this? Really soft grape scented golem child doll. I I used it. Was I not supposed to do that? Well, I didn't save, so... Oh, actually, no, I should probably save. What, what am I doing? Alright. We'll save here. Alright. I, I sure hope I didn't screw up. I didn't know, like, using that. I thought, I thought it would give me, like, a description of the item. I didn't... What did that actually do, using it? Did I just delete it? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry if I deleted it. Please don't hate me. I really wanted it. Hmm. Look, ma. More bamboo. Twenty-five G. It feels so red doing this. Civic, civic duty. Traffic those. Okay. Time is low. Okay. Is the shop open? Whoa, dude. You are so radical. You've earned your access to the store. Unfortunately. Okay. It's not open yet. Had to make sure. I'm sorry. With bamboo. Alright. We will get that later. Was here. I can't remember. Someone was at the campfire. Okay, whatever. Oh, it was the pig. That's right. Yeah, where did that guy go? Oh, whatever. All right. More bamboo. Let's see what's here. There's a frog. You found Glenn the frog. I caught a frog. Maybe we could take it back to the hospital. I bet it would make a great pet for the people on my floor. I see. Okay. Still don't know what I'm going to do with this, but uh, at least the kid gave me a little hint. Maybe it's for the hospital. There's a key. What's this key symbol down here? There's a key symbol. I'm confused. Whatever. I'm sure it means nothing. It doesn't mean, like, secret door over here or something like that, right? Because there's this area. Is that Sue? Sue, I I just I just saw you down in the cave. How'd you get over here? Where's my friend gone? I can't sleep until I find her. Okay. And I'm as an old beanstalk. Sue! Oh, hi. What are you doing? I'm trying to remember where I was supposed to meet my friend. I have to find her. She needs me. Tell me about your friend. Oh, she's the best. She was the only one who would uh, listen to me. Such was a good. She was a good listener. I could tell her all my secrets because I knew she'd never tell anyone else. And she loved me no matter what, even though I was poor and didn't have cool toys or games. Even though I didn't have any other friends, she still loved me. Oh, hi. Oh, oh. I hit... Okay. What kind of stuff did you do? Oh, we had so many adventures together. And we played a lot of games, too. Ones I didn't get to play before. My dad promised he would play catch with me, but he left and we never got to do that together. But my friend loved playing catch. So we'd go to the park and play catch until the sun went down. 
Alright. I can't get over there. There's water. And I can't swim. My hat would get wet. Okay then. Well, I'm out of options, I guess, so I think I just need to go to the frickin' hospital and see how shit's been affected there. Alright, Mom, let's go. I wonder how this place has changed. Wait, I have an axe now. I can do this. You found amber marble. You found 25G. That's right, I have the cat eye marble. Several old medical books. Okay. Oh man. This will take me to my room? Yeah, that'll take me to my room. Okay, let me let me check. I think it's filled with water. Okay. So, I remember there were boarded up rooms. There were boarded up rooms everywhere. I'd say before we actually officially <clears throat> enter the hospital, we enter through this side. Because, uh-huh, look at this. I'd be missing out on possible construction work. 25G? What are these? Sandbags? Cones? Okay. Well, at least there was loot. At least there was loot. Um, I came from over there. Yeah, there's nothing up there for me. Alright, is there anything in this foggy little room right here? Okay, nothing. Wait, am I just wandering around this hospital with an axe? Ugh. Yeah, I guess I am. 25G. Interesting. Please don't confiscate my a confiscate my axe. Winston! I'm very sorry about this, Winston. I just can't believe someone would do something like this. Stealing a wedding band from a comatose woman? These are indeed desperate times. We will do all we can to try and find out who stole this from her. <sighs> I have a sinking suspicion. Thank you for your help, Doctor. I understand how busy everyone must be right now, so this means a lot. Of course. And if you could spare some extra blankets, it would be very appreciated. I know they've boarded up the hole inside the bathroom wall. There's still a very chilling wind coming through. I'm very sorry about that, Winston. We'll send over some supplies. Thank you. I'll come by later to check on uh, Gemma. In the meantime, please take care. Uma, did you take her wedding ring? That's bad. That is that is a bad. All right. Do you have a new dialogue? What's up? Uh, someone look for spare change in the hospital. You'd be surprised how much is laying around the cabinets and drawers. Uh, okay. You say the same stuff generally. Okay. You 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 don't say anything different. What about you? Okay, yeah, you pretty much say the same stuff. Okay, so, first things first, I have some special items for... Wait, I can use this. Okay, before I do, I have a cat's eye marble and an amber marble, alright? I have stuff for... Cutscene. Oh, Gemma. I'm so sorry about all this. Poor Winston. Oh! Where is it, Mom? While we're here, 
do you think Sue might like the cat's eye marble we got from Jackie? That's the whole reason I came in here, Mom. Were you not paying attention? Good idea, Mom. I think she would. Alright, before we do... I just can't believe someone would do this. What's up? I heard that you created an entire set of armor out of paper. That's quite impressive. Oh, hello. Can I help you with anything? Oh. Extra supplies. Okay. I wish I could be... Okay, hold on. Wait. I, want, I want to actually read that. I really appreciate all the staff has done to keep the hospital running despite how hard they've been hit. I feel bad asking for extra supplies, but the cold breeze coming in through the hole in the bathroom wall keeps getting worse. I wish there was more I could do to help. Did you hear about the thief? Yes, and it appears that he or she has struck again. What did they take this time? Sadly, my wife's wedding band was stolen. I just can't believe some, they would take something like that. Who would you like to know about Sue? On occasion, I've had to take Sue back to her room. She had a habit of walking out aimlessly on certain nights. Tony? Tony hasn't, been talked with his, hasn't talked with his family in a long while. It makes me sad to think that families can be torn apart just because people won't see eye to eye on something. Okay, so Tony has some issues. Cora? I heard that Cora and her friends have been working on a special project to boost uh, morale in the hospital. Last I heard, they were calling themselves Tall Cape Heroes. Okay. Interesting. Hey, Sue! I got marbles. Oh, hey. You came back. It's good to see you again. What's new? Did you hear? Somebody stole Gemma's wedding ring. Gemma? Oh, Gemma is Winston's wife. I share a room with her. Isn't that awful, though? I mean, who would steal something like that from a woman in a coma? I'm beginning to think the thief isn't a very nice person after all. Oh, hey, you came back. Okay. Uh, I brought you something. Isn't much, but I remember that you collect marbles. Yes. Give the cat's eye marble soup. Ah, it's Cat Planet, I called it. Cat Planet? Oh, I really, really missed this one. It really looks like a cat's eye, doesn't it? That's because this planet has lots of cats, but here's the surprising part. It has lots of dogs, too. Are dogs living there, too? Oh, yes. People are always saying that cats and dogs can't get along. But that's just not true. People always think that if you're different, then it means you're bad. And then they treat you differently. Like if you don't look at the same, or if you don't have money anymore, even if it's not your fault, they treat you bad because you're different from them. I know what you mean. But Cat Planet is different. Cats and dogs get along just fine. In fact, there's a bakery here that's run by cats and dogs. The cats and dogs make f the food together? Yeah. It's really good, too. They have pink donuts and coconut bread. I love coconut bread. Hey, can I ask you something? Sure. Why do you keep snooping around our bathroom? Is there something cool in there? Can you keep a secret? <laughs> I, I, oh, I screwed up that so badly. Oh, God, I'm embarrassed. That's on camera now. Mm. Can you keep a secret? Oh, my God. Can I actually pronounce words correctly? For the love of God. <laughs> I won't tell anyone. I think there might be a door down there. A special door. Where does it lead? To a place called Morzor's Forest. I'm trying to wake up the guardian of the forest, so he'll grant me a wish. So you have a secret- you have secret worlds too. I do. Hmm. Well, the shift leader's in the bathroom now. So you might not be able to look around for your door. Unless... Here, give her one of these. Peanut Choo Choo's. Again? Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Sue. She loves these. Good luck. I'm not done yet, though. Uh, I bet you say the st same stuff. Uh, I brought you something. 
You found the topsy turvy treehouse tea house. Treehouse, that tea house. That's a mouthful. <laughs> yes, that's right. This marble is the color of amber because it's actually a present from a special tree. Inside the tree, there's a room where flower creatures serve you the most delicious tea ever. But that's not even the craziest part. The tea room is upside down. W wait, was this some Alice in Wonderland shit? <laughs> upside down? Yeah. You can walk on the ceiling. You can drink tea upside down and it doesn't fall out of the cup. Wow. One of my favorite things to do is drink tea with a good friend. My friend didn't really drink tea, but we still did all kinds of stuff together. I used to meet her by this tree and we'd play for hours. Sometimes she didn't have enough food, so I would share my lunches with her. But we always had a good time. I'm kind of interested to see what Sue's kind of story is. Thanks for reminding me of the good times. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll we'll see ya. I'm kind of interested to see Sue's side of the story. Oh, 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 god, okay. Before we do that, I have an axe now? Oh, god damn it, you're blocking the way! The cold breeze coming through these boards behind you. If the patient's wall will be fixed. Oh, god damn it, he's in my way! Door's locked, okay. Oh, I'm at Sue's room. Quit bugging me, kid. I've gotta figure out how to fix this wall. Man, they weren't killing. This draft is chilly. Chilly. <laughs> Offer a peanut choo choo. Oh man, you don't know how badly I was craving one of these. I love peanut choo choos. I guess I can go uh, take a fiver and eat this. I need to regain my energy if I'm going to do, be doing construction work. Thanks a lot, kid. Speaking of which, I just had a sudden realization. I have a lot of money now. So... Do we have coffee? <gasps> I am so glad I checked. Tony, you are going to love me. Alright? We are going to get along. Alright, we're going to be the best of pals. Come here. <laughs> what the heck do you think you're doing in my room, kid? Get out! Wait, is that coffee for me? Yes. Oh, well then, um... Thanks. You give Tony the hot coffee. <laughs> I love this guy! What is your job? My job? Are you serious? I'm a retired pilot. I used to run a business selling airplane parts. I even built my own plane. Haven't been up in ages, though. Hey, kid. What's your favorite food? I hate everything now. Nothing tastes good anymore. <laughs> my favorite character is slowly, in this game, is slowly changing from Jackie to Tony here. I like this guy's character already when he has his coffee. <laughs> But I used to like crab cakes with real chunks of crab. Not that fake stuff. <laughs> wow, he really, he really isn't that bad. Can I help you somehow? Help me, kid. I don't think anyone can help me right now. <laughs> You're not gonna leave until I give you something to do, eh? Okay, then. You see that broken music box over there? You look like a budding engineer, so... You look like a budding engineer. See if you can fix it for me. That I keep the kid occupied long enough. <laughs> Tony, you sly devil. Oh my god. I already like his character, especially when he's had his coffee. That little grin he has on his face. Jesus. Alright, um... Right. The door. <clears throat> Alright, well, now I have his music box. Uh, I guess, I suppose, uh, I suppose Jackie and, oh. Ooh, what a pretty ring. Uma. Oops, time for me to run. Uma. 
I predicted what he was going to say. <laughs> oh, I, I wonder if Jackie in Morazor's Forest can fix his music box. If I fix his music box, he's going to be so flippin' happy. We're just going to be the best of friends. Hell yeah. Uma, you can't hide from me in there. Ah, it's a bear. What the heck, Tony? Get out of our crops! Stupid labels. I'm just looking for something I've lost. I'll go wherever I want. Oh, there's reeds over there. Whoa, that was a nice jump. Can you believe that, Tony? My poor turnips. He's destroying my garden. Someone needs to talk to that bear. He has such a bad attitude. This is the third time this week. I'm starting to get worried. I'd volunteer to talk to him, but Winston up there won't make us a boat to go to Tony's Island. Hey, you guys are new around here. Maybe Winston would be willing to help you out. Yeah, will you talk to him for us? Ask him to make a boat. Winston? You don't know Winston? He's that guy standing over there by the tent. Please talk to him for us. It's a matter of life and death. Well, live and dead turnips anyway. Okay, okay. Thank you! I'll talk to him, just, uh... Yeah, just let me collect all these reeds, and, uh... Dude, Tony's not that bad. I mean, come on, I just gave him coffee, and we're just, like, immediately best friends. Alright. Um... Let's see, got some rocks right here. Let me just chop down this bamboo, because I need to collect it for some reason. I wonder if I can make a pickaxe. Ooh, I should go check that real quick. Can I... Can I make a pickaxe? Also, I can go through here now. Are you new? Where's the sleeping label? Snow Knight's just around the corner. I go at this time. I'm gonna catch myself a pet fish and eat sweets. Okay, interesting. Welcome back, guys! What can I make for you today? Pickaxe. I'm sorry, you don't have the right materials to make this item. See you sign next to me? You know what materials are required to make something. Okay, so I don't have the materials. I'm not even going to bother to look at the sign, because I don't think, uh... I don't think we've reached that stage in the game yet. Okay. Wow, I'm going to have to do tons of backtracking once I get a pickaxe. I can't rem- I can't even rem- if, if there- are there rocks in Morzor's cave? Oh god. Uh, so much backtracking. Okay. But you know what? I'm gonna leave this episode off here. So leave a like and enjoy it. Uh, subscribe to Compare for stay. And uh, you know what? I'm gonna save over everything. There we go. <laughs> Alright, it makes things less confusing for me, but I'm going to leave this episode off here. In the next episode, we're going to go talk to Winston here and see if he can get us a boat. But, uh, and we're also going to check on Uma in there. Actually, I think we're going to check on Uma first, then we're going to go talk to Winston. Uma is doing bad things, and we kind of need to stop him. So, you know what? Uh, yeah, I'll just, uh, leave this here, so farewell, everyone.